What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be installing this dual USB quick charging port in my buddy's Toyota 4Runner. Oh, this is pretty cool because it's absolutely 100% plug and play in the Toyota 4Runner. And um, basically we're going to be able to quick charge uh, uh, your, uh, your phone now without having to use your cigarette lighter a port here. What we're going to end up doing is replacing this uh, USB here with uh, this guy here and uh, let me show you what it looks like real quick so what you end up here is you end up with two three amp quick charging USB ports okay and again it is plug and play and this thing is designed uh, to not overcharge your cell phone which is pretty cool uh, so I'll go ahead and show you uh, how to take apart your forerunner real quick and plug and play what it actually does it actually uses the uh, power off your cigarette lighter you won't lose the, the ability to use your cigarette lighter here because uh, one port, uh, one of the plugs here will actually plug into the cigarette lighter and the other one will plug into the, uh, the wire. So it's actually really, really cool how this thing works. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be replacing this thing here because if you've ever charged your phone, you know that it charges super duper slow with this. And uh, this is gonna give you quick charge. You can actually actually take these plugs out here and put it here if you want to. It gives you plenty of wire to be able to do that. So the Forerunner, you actually don't, you won't really need very many tools to actually do this. You basically just need something that will pry the panels loose because you're going to pry this panel loose and you can pry this panel loose if I want to put the USB port here. But I'm just replacing this here. But I'm going to show you how to do both. Um, what I have here is I have just like a non-marring little uh, trim panel tool. Okay, you can use a screwdriver or you can just use your fingernails really to do this. But um, really up here what you're going to do is you're going to need to take off this whole panel here and it's just basically clipped on and which you can you know what you can see here is that if you just go at the corner this stuff actually pops off really simple well, just pull it right off and you can just move it out of your way or you can unplug the air conditioning the control unit which just is a plug right here all right so the panel here i'm not going to take it loose but it is held on with some 10 millimeter uh, bolts right here you can undo these and, and kind of yank it out uh, but I'm not going to do that you don't have to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to push behind here and I'm going to push this guy out and you know you really don't but he doesn't need it I mean you have an auxiliary input here and uh, we don't use it because the radio itself it's Bluetooth so we're just going to lose that put that in the glove box and then the cigarette lighter all you got to do is unplug it back here I'm gonna probably need to put the camera down for a second to be able to unplug it, but it just unplugs. You have to get your hand back there and unplug it. And I'm gonna run the cable through the hole and do my plugs, and then that should be pretty much it. All right, so I got it kind of loose, but I kind of want to show you in detail what it looks like back there. But basically, this this is exactly the same thing that's back there that's plugged in the cigarette lighter. It has a little tab here. You just need to be able to press that down and pull on it. I've already pressed it down and unlocked it. So all I needed to do now is just pull on it. Okay. And here it is right here, okay. All right, so the new the, the USB port, it is fused right there. That's just pretty cool. Little layer of protection just in case something were to happen. Run the wires inside it. Okay, and then we're just gonna go Plug these together now. If I can manage to do it with one hand. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty tough to do with one hand. So I'll put the camera down. Right, so factory wiring into the new plug. Then we're gonna take this and plug it into the back into the cigarette lighter down there. Okay. Run all my wire through here tuck it in there real quick so check it out lights up this bluish white fits right in there you just push it in there nice and flat it's a real snug fit fits in there really really well All right. so when you hook up your phone up to it this will actually turn red showing that it's being charged and when it goes back to this blue that means it's fully charged I'm gonna show you what that red looks like real quick okay pretty cool and yeah, it'll, it'll cut your your phone charging times in half. If you wanted to put the switches here, all you have to do is get your pry tool, start pulling up on this corner here, and then you can lift all this up. Okay, 
and it just pops, it just pops right out. And you can pop these these guys right out. All you can do is push on it from behind. These guys will pop right out. And you run your wire down through there, all the way up through there. It comes with plenty of work to do that. If you want to get one of these USB chargers, uh, I'll leave a link down in the description box below. They work with all kinds of different Toyotas. Um, if you check that link out, it takes you right to Amazon, and it'll tell you about you know which applications it works for and which ones it doesn't. Because this actually doesn't plug plug and play with every Toyota. Um, it just happens to work with uh, your forerunners, which is pretty cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys take care. Be safe. And have a great weekend. Later.